place here. Let's get the grand finals here. Of course, Illusion Gaming's very own Jake versus Monty. Man, shout out to Jake getting sponsored though, man. The guy's been putting a lot of work with the character and he honestly Three, does deserve it. Two, one, go! Yeah, I just uh, a lot of big things for Jake. Jake keeps uh, going the way he is with his character. But let's see. Let's see what Monty has to say in the seconds that they're playing against each other. Already off to a really good start. Oh, almost. That back air connecting would have been huge for Monty. Once you force their steam to use up B to recover it, it's not too hard for Game Watch to intercept. Down there, so good for Steve. Yeah, it looked like Matsu just expected to uh, be a little bit more hit stun. Got caught by that down there, but neither nor there. Sneaks in the forward air, keeping things really close. Oh, wow, big oh, combo. What a wow. big combo, yeah. This is the Jake just punishing my cards. That was awesome. All the, all the added damage from using the diamond tools, too. Oh, oh no. there it is! What a change there on that is. Monty able to get the nine right when he Finally, the most. Never mind. Until he gets no momentum. <laughs> no momentum. <laughs> he had to hit the chance for it, man, but unfortunately, yeah. like the way that just Steve can shut down momentum, not just Steve Jake, I'm sorry, just shutting down all the momentum as soon as possible to Anvil, man. Monty was looking to have a breath of fresh air, but looking like it's going to continue on here. Look at the way that Steve is looking to punish there. And if you look at that interaction, man, he only reflects the minecart. Okay, watch the match out. Yeah, I was going to say. He does have a reflection to the game watch, that is. So you can see right there, he's able to just send it right back if you can time it properly. Safe aerial on shield, but uh, yeah, Monty's gotta be careful with what he chooses to do to put himself in the air. That up smash from Steve. Oh Very no! Fun, another down air. Every time Monty just tries to press on the aggression, keep the juggles going. Uh, yeah, Jake's already ready with the down air. Just fall right on top of him. That's actually really good for Steve in this match because usually if someone's getting hit by Game Watch in that spot, they just have to, you know. Think about how am I gonna get out of this juggle situation and like get to the ledge or something like that. But if that down air is on the table for Jake, he just throws that out. Game Watch has to try to dodge the down air. Can't really continue the juggles that way. But let's see. Got a got at least two counter picks left for a monster. Yeah, uh, Jake taking game one pretty strong. Well, I was going to say, yeah, no panic from Jake. He has the reason to. Elytra, I wouldn't say it has the highest recovery points, but definitely able to still recover nonetheless, yeah, as long as Jake doesn't panic for a directional air dodge towards the stage to get a stage tag. Jake, really good spot. Yep, and setting up the fortress of the blocks. Monty just has to hold that while Jake gets to farm all the mats he wants. Yeah. Game Watch just doesn't really have safe ways to go through that block setup. But that neutral get up gets caught. No sweet spot on the forest match though. Unfortunately for Monty, that was actually such a hard punch, but not able to get the kill for it. Oh, instead he's gonna drop the first stock that up smash coming in clutch on the platform. How oh, good use of forward to stop Jake, and even if Jake wanted to go for the ledge there, that bomb drop would have been good here. But nonetheless, look at the way that Monty is slowly and trying to suffocate there on Jake, and finally letting up here as the up B was able to take out Jake there in the middle of the cart. Okay, trying to see if you can press this juggle. Monty in a really good spot on the ledge as well. 
Oh wow. It's the minecart just so you can get from the ledge. It's so it's good too, strong. cause like it's it's powered minecart, so your opponent has to respect it, but also never forget that Steve can just get off too. So if you're trying to hit Steve in the middle of it, like Jake can just abandon ship and then essentially move around like so. So the TNT here, looking to see the commitment, not just yet here, that's going to be a grab, but great patience there coming up from Jake, but would have been a grab, it's just a shield there, avoiding the B, but man, that's a full bucket, not enough here. Wait, did he bucket the down tilt? Uh, I, I can't even, I honestly don't even know what he bucketed, I'm surprised he had bucket, man, but it was a blink and miss a moment. Down air does insane shield damage, and like, there's actually a bunch of, like, actual shield break setups with using it, but... I actually haven't seen Jake go for it yet. Great forward smash though from Monty. See how long you can hold the lead this time. If he's able to at all. But before he just died immediately. Oh. Okay. Not gonna be super hard punch for, for Jake there. But he is taking quite a bit of percent already. Yeah, 42 to 116, but I never want to count Jake out of the cards just yet, man. He has been able to slowly bring things back. That's a tech chase, yeah. And the reason why it becomes more of a tech chase scenario is because he was looking to see how Monty was going to mash out. Right, you mash out too early, that's going to be a punish from one of either a back air or forward, or you mash out too late, you can get spiked. Also, if you mash out too early, you can hit by up smash. You kind of damage if you do damage if you don't, but the spike there, almost sending out Monty completely out of the stock, and Jake would have moved to 2-0 here, but Monty has still a lot left of the fight in him. Yeah. Probably the best case scenario. And but the one thing I'm liking from Monty is he's always punishing I wouldn't necessarily punish him, but he's always fighting against that cart using up B because of the way the up B works in cart as well. So he's able to effectively just shut down Jake a little bit there for those options. Well the diamond forest matches are swinging right now. Such a powerful option for Steve. Yeah, and good on Jake to kind of punish the landing there from forward air initially. Trying to just play as patient as possible. He doesn't want to do anything too oh, crazy. No. Okay. We're living. Just We're living barely. On the stage. Oh. That was good too. Look at the situation. It forces Monty to either go for a B, and even then, Jake can punish him with an aerial afterwards. We saw how pretty much Tony Pajamas was also able to use back as anything to punish up as well. So you can tell that Jake is slowly trying to force Monty to those situations where he can come out on top. Oh, that was good. That was good. Yes. Okay, Monty finally able to get an edge guard against Jake. And, I mean, it took that much work just to get one. This goes to show how uh, good both these players are playing. But Monty is going to go on the board here. Yeah, he's going to go on the board 1-1, one, one, best of five. And honestly, shout outs to him because slowly he was looking to see how Jake was playing. But also the way that Jake had just... Kind of pick up on how to edge guard characters like Game and Watch after their upbeat because it becomes really hard to like you have to respect Game and Watch's shield. You're gonna have to wait and punish him, but also there are ways that you can punish Game and Watch after the upbeat before he even tries to go for his downer. And even then, you can still hit Game and Watch out of his downer. You just have to be careful with the active hitbox. That would be the key. So you hit Game Watch in the air, and then uh, they know that you're like. One, You're just gonna give go. him space to land with the down air, right? So yeah. that's what makes it a uh, safe landing move a lot of times. You have to be relentless, basically. You never give Game Watch the chance to even break here. But of course, game three between these two players. Uh, one will move up to set point here, and the other will have to definitely fight through counter picks on all. Down throw forward air, gonna miss the mark here. Good stuff to, for Jake to even put it out there, because even if he doesn't get the forward air, he still gets the stage control for a little bit. I would say, uh, kind of surprised that um, Jake is opting to go back to this stage. I think the platforms really make it good for Game Watch to continue his juggles, but so far, working out pretty good for Jake. Oof, He's definitely part. working out really good for Jake. Oh, what a way to punish that minecar, man. Looks like it was... It looks like Monty has... Yeah, it went through a lot. But that LP definitely looks to be the remedy to punish Jake's options of minecart, the way he's been pulling it out. 
Oh, watch the match out, yeah. He's, he's gonna be buried, and that's good for Monty to be able to get that stock with the fourth match. Alright, Monty's gonna watch the landing. That's the one thing I really see him go for, is just looking to set up a block there to kind of find his way slowly down. Yeah, I mean, it's a pretty good mix up, too, in case your opponent's just waiting for you to throw off the gear. You can just, you know, put a block up. Yeah. Just down the ground like that. And also lower, you know, slow down your ascent towards the ledge as well. <sighs> okay. Up air. I was gonna say, Jake, you better watch out towards that center stage, man. There's gonna be the punish on the up smash here. Jake missing the up smash. And he's just outside the range where like forward smash will barely hit. And it's the fact that Monster's been able to slowly understand that spacing that Jake has with squad dodge forward smash. That's a four, that's a punish. Yeah, and a good enough charge to take care of the stock. Man, I'm surprised Jake didn't even attempt to mash out there. What? Doesn't need it. <laughs> Just immediately gets a down smash, even moves up real quick. Okay, a little before it tilts. Okay, nice interruption from Monty. That could have been really bad if he got like a fair loop. Especially um, with the timing tools. Yeah, and for those wondering in the chat, if you guys are watching YouTube live, oh. yes, this is live. Currently as of today. Sunday, uh, Easter Sunday, of course. Thank you guys all for joining us with the but back throw coming out here from Jake. Back to the match here. Because you know Jake is still looking to win this year as Monty has a little bit of a deficit lead. Finally getting that forward smash here, and that puts Monty up off the stage here. Great use of upbeat, slowly moving his way around here. That's a punish before the bomb even comes out. Jake slowly catching up to Monty's landing habits. That's the pickaxe, though. Yeah. Oh, man. Gotta be careful. Both players here. Oh, man. And just like that, man. Just one little change around the stage here, and immediately Jake's got the diamond tools right back. Oh my goodness, he's up, he's, or sorry, uh, minecart's directly into him. A lot of dangerous hitboxes being thrown out by Jake. Monty, he's can't hit 48 by any of them, he's so light. Really safe on the stage. Oh, yeah. minecart. Coming out so fast, this is really difficult. For uh, in the space around that. Man, so close though, so close. Even though he dropped that game, it, he's definitely making uh, Jake work really, really hard for these kills. Even as a light character. Yeah. Honestly, the way that Jake has been playing around Monty's just use of a B, his aerials, his back airs, his forward airs. It's the same way that Monty has been kind of playing around one of Jake's best tools is the minecart. It's kind of like a counter against each other's moves, so to speak, right? They know what each other's best moves are, and they're trying to counter those moves to get the opening, but also get the stocks and the Ws here. And this much pretty much has Jake here at set point. Now it's up to Monty to make that full adaptation and see if he can bring things around here to game five, possibly. Or is it going to be Jake running it away with a home 3-1? I mean, the last time we saw Jake here at the ladder, man, he was definitely the one taking it. Really, especially with a uh, bestness DQing uh, in the in the bracket, I would say Jake's the, the guy to beat now. Ready? Or even if bestness had choose, chosen to play too, like <laughs> he's beaten bestness uh, quite a few times already too. Yeah. Yeah, Matsi trying to make this upset happen get this rematch up against uh jake here who did send him to losers bracket earlier mm, correct uh, and of got, course. gotta say he's definitely approaching the matchup much Three, better two, in this set than he did in winners so i can definitely see the reset coming out for uh, if i could see anything <laughs> i'm so sorry to <laughs> I keep doing this to you. I'm so sorry. I forgot I set up the hotkey, and this is literally what I was doing constantly. You should be fine now. I'm sorry, Strides. 
You should get closer to your mic though. You sound a little far away, buddy. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Sorry about that. There we go. All right. Anyways, so let's get right back into it, man. While we're in the middle of technical difficulties, man, these two are pretty much brought each other to mid for stands at this point, man. The first Ooh, that's taken frame. Is crucial. Yeah, that was. Jake actually has a lot of confidence in his timing to get the down smash two frame because he goes for it every time. Yeah. <laughs> he doesn't really go for like a ledge trap setup, like you know, by setting up all these weird blocks and like the TNT. He's like, nah, I'm just gonna time this down smash. <laughs> it's gonna kill Game Watch, really really well and I, I don't think you get your jumps back too when you get two frames in this game so if you get hit by that down smash at most percents you're dead yeah oh, oh. Oof. not enough to Another even out, but not even enough to survive man okay laying all the back airs fly but there's that diamond force smash so deadly versus game watch here's the tnt here Nope, oh, that was smart from Monty. Look at that way he was trying to punish him for that. Yeah, he got the full bucket out of that explosion yep. from, from the bucket. That actually was smart. And he got off the ledge as well. Yeah. And oh, like the said, gold tracks. Oh, he is so powerful. Oh, no nine this time. Big combo. The fair oh. loops. And he's got that diamond active. Game & Watch is in serious trouble. Very close to dying now. And you can see already Jake's letting the four smashes fly because he knows if he gets the right hit, this tournament is his. Not just the forward smash, but even you can let the mine cards fly because you can essentially punish Game of Watch for trying to avoid the mine card with a jump. What a good forward, oh, even stuffing the bomb at the same time. Yeah. But I do, okay, yeah, good oh, use of bucket. Reflector. The way that Monty has been using bucket at the ledge. So oh no. my god. Yeah, that'll do it. Terrible DI. That move's actually pretty strong though. Right. But damn, Jake. Jake, as soon as he got that down smash two frame, it was just put on the gas, man. Just didn't stop the momentum, got some crazy.